Hi, my name is Cosimo Pecchioli. I'm the uh, sales manager for cooling solutions for data centers for Alpha Laval US. And today we talk about log mean temperature difference, which essentially is the temperature approach, is the representation of the temperature approach in heat exchangers. One of the main application of heat exchangers, gasket heat exchangers in the data centers is what is called free cooling, which is when you use the outside temperature to cool down the server room in a data center. So say that you want to keep your server room at 80 degrees and the outside temperature is 50 degrees. Of course, you can use this difference in temperature to cool down the server room without using a chiller. As the temperature of the outside air, of course, rises, it gets harder and harder to use the outside temperature. It's the reason why normally you try to use an LMTD or temperature approach as close as possible in order to expand the time that you can use free cooling in the server room. So of course the temperature approach is the difference between the temperatures of the two fluids in a heat exchanger and it is the driving force of the heat exchanger of the heat exchanging relation between the difference in temperature and the size of the heat exchanger is a logarithmic curve. When you have, of course, in the vertical axis, you have the square foot of the heat transfer area, so the size of the heat exchanger. And the horizontal, you have the, the, um, the temperature difference. Of course, here you have zero. At, zero. at zero temperature difference, the heat exchanger gets infinitive in size. As you expand the um, temperature difference, the exchanger gets smaller and smaller. Experience tells us that normally we work with a temperature difference which is around 2 degrees, which is here in this curve. Now, unfortunately, this is in a very sensitive part of the curve, meaning that a small variation in the, dif in the temperature approach implies a big difference in the size of a heat exchanger and therefore it gets bigger and more expensive if you close down the temperature gap. If you, on the other hand, expand the temperature gap, instead of having 2 degrees, you have 2.5 degrees. Just 0 0.5 degrees makes a huge difference in the size and the cost of the heat exchanger. In this example, we have, as a starting point, a temperature difference of 2 degrees that gives us a certain size in square foot um, area and, uh, and a certain price as a comparison. Now you see here that if I open up just 0 0.5 degree, which is real life, I challenge you actually to measure that, the heat exchanger gets 29% smaller in this example and 27% less expensive. If I open up even a little more of one degree, so instead of having two degrees um, temperature difference is three degrees, it's about 40% smaller and less expensive. So a small variation you can see in this example implies a big difference in the size and the cost of the heat exchanger. So in conclusion, the point of this video is that if you have a heat transfer project, before you define all the details of your cooling solution, talk with, you, with your preferred vendor uh, in order to design a heat exchanger that meets your needs. 